The jewel of the park is the Tawas Point Lighthouse, built in 1876. It's the only working model of a Victorian-era light station still in operation on the Great Lakes, and to walk through this historic structure and ascend its winding iron staircase is truly a step back in time. We probably notice a beautiful view up behind us right now. We're actually standing at the top of the Tawas Point Lighthouse, and we're looking out into Lake here and down the south shore here. And uh, I'm with Chuck Allen right now. Chuck is the manager here at the park, and Chuck, it's a great park that you have out here. And, and one of the highlights of it is the lighthouse itself. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. Yeah, this is kind of the highlight. This is what a lot of people come for. Um, this is actually the second lighthouse that's on the point. Um, we had a lighthouse uh, back by the campground uh, that was built in 1852, and uh, the point grows so much that within 20 years, that, that lighthouse was actually obsolete. They had to build a new lighthouse, and this is the one that they built here in 1876. Okay, so it's been here for quite a while. It's in excellent shape, and I see you're doing a lot of work on it. What's going on? Yeah, it, it, it is in really good shape. We've been fortunate that uh, we're kind of secluded, so we don't get some of the vandalism that a lot of lighthouses have gotten over the years. And, uh, and then we were also very lucky that in uh, 2001, um, the, uh, the Coast Guard decided it was surplus, and they decided to turn it over to us. And we started doing some pretty aggressive work on uh, renovating it. We started on the outside, uh, redoing the tower and the, uh, the building itself. And then uh, after that, we started work on the inside. The double wall tower is 70 feet high and 16 feet wide at its base. First fueled by lard oil, then kerosene, the light has been powered by electricity since 1935. A rare, fourth-order Fresnel lens built in Paris and installed in 1892 magnifies and makes the light visible up to 16 miles out onto the lake. The lighthouse includes a museum store and living quarters. Park manager Chuck Allen provided some additional facts, including an ongoing restoration process, visitor tours, and an intriguing new program that allows lighthouse enthusiasts to actually live in and work at the lighthouse for up to two weeks at a time. We do tours uh, on weekends and on, and on Wednesdays, actually. Um, but we're hoping to have uh, some light keepers staying in here this year that'll oh. help us give tours every day. Oh, that's it. Well, they would actually live here then? Yes, they would actually live here. We have uh, quarters uh, that they can stay in, and they, they would stay at one week or two week periods at a time. Okay, uh, who's, who's the lighthouse keepers then? It can be anybody. That's, uh, the, that's the great part about it. Uh, there's a lot of enthusiasts out there that, that just love lighthouses. And uh, we're starting this new program where uh, they can come here, they stay in the lighthouse, they actually have to pay for it, but uh, when they stay here, they, they do work that the light keepers would have wow. done. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's Just out of curiosity, what kind of work does that consist uh, of? It, it consists of giving tours, because back then uh, they did get a lot of visitors, especially here, it wasn't an island lighthouse or anything like that, so they got a lot of visitors and they gave tours. Um, so they'll do that. Uh, they'll actually open up the museum in the morning, um, clean everything up, uh, they will raise the flag, and then at the end of the day, they lower the flag, lock down the museum, make sure it's all clean and ready to go. And then there's some odd jobs that, if they're comfortable doing things like that, also like washing the windows of the tower here, um, odd, odds and ends painting.